Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking about two different events. The first event I'm going to be talking about is the Kamala Harris rally in Atlanta featuring Meg Thee Stallion and Quavo. Somebody wanted my thoughts on this, so I'm giving you my true thoughts about the situation. I don't believe that it was a good look for Meg Thee Stallion. I believe she should have declined to perform at that rally. Um, a lot of these entertainers and celebrities, I think they should stay out of politics. But for black people and the Democrats, they feel that getting entertainers and celebrities to endorse them is the way to get the black vote. So I wasn't surprised to see Megan Thee Stallion there. I was uh, greatly disappointed uh, because it just didn't seem right. But this is what the Democrats do. They did the same thing with Beyonce and Jay-Z when they were trying to endorse Hillary Clinton when she was running up against Donald Trump to be president. Um, a lot of younger black people, they may think that that whole rally was lit well, let's be honest. The only reason why they came to that rally, um, because I think it was free and because Megan Thee Stallion was performing. I heard once uh, Kamala Harris got on the mic and started talking about nothing because she has nothing to offer um, American citizens. She don't have any you know, policies or anything like that. When she began to talk, people started to leave. I see a lot of people saying that it was ghetto, it's, it's making black women look bad, you know, twerking at a political rally. And, um, I just don't understand the Democrat Party and a lot of these politicians. We want to hear about policies. We want to hear about what you're going to do for this country. How y'all going to make life easier for taxpayers, American citizens? How y'all going to protect this country from invasion? How are you going to break down the inflation? You know, what do you have to offer us for our vote? And we can see pretty much the Democrats don't really have anything to offer. They're talking about women's rights. But I don't understand how they can be talking about women's rights when they support the alphabet community, LGBTQ, when they support that and they support, you know, these uh, he, she's uh, getting into women's sports taking over the woman's bathroom. I don't know how they think that they're protecting women's rights when they're okay with that going on. When they are okay with men pretty much taking over and acting like they're women. They're invading our space. And the Democrats and a lot of these um, delusional black women, uh, dumb white women too, because the white population, a lot of them are dumb as hell. They're delusional, they're liberals, they're just, they go against their own people. They just don't stand for anything. They co-sign all of this bullshit with, you know, the gay marriages and all that. They co-sign all of that. Love who you want to love. I understand that. I don't got a problem with that. But when you got men invading women's space, when you got men trying to take over women's sport and trying to complete, compete with natural born women, something is wrong with that. But, you know, the majority of black people who say they're going to vote for the Democrats, they're going to vote for Kamala, they don't care about things like that. You know what I'm saying? Then they'll cry about when the trannies or the, the when the trans women, as they want to be called, they'll cry about when they're trying to disrespect them and go after their reproduction rights and when they call them fish and all that. Then they get upset, but then when it's time to vote, they vote for the whole bullshit. Black people will get online and cry about the illegals coming into their communities and taking their jobs. And, you know, a lot of the things that go towards the black community is now being given to the illegal immigrants. They'll cry about that. But when it's time to vote about it, they're going to vote for Kamala no matter what because they hate Donald Trump. They don't love this country. A lot of these people claim that they love these country, this country and... They think that Donald Trump is so racist and he hates everybody. No, these people want to do what the hell they want to do. A lot of these people are immigrants, first generation immigrants, and they're voting against America. They don't give a damn about America. A lot of these people still claim where the fuck they come from. They don't care anything about America. 
and they will continue to destroy it with the help of the Democrat politicians. And black Americans are right there on the Democrat plantation giving them a vote for absolutely nothing. It's embarrassing. So, you know, the Democrat Party know they don't have to give black people anything. All they got to do is get up there and tell tell you that the, the celebrities, the rappers, and Beyonce and Taylor Swift and all that bullshit is endorsing Kamala Harris. And then you black bitches will go out there. I hate to call you that, but that's exactly what you are. You, you weak black people that don't have any pride about yourself. Don't give a damn about your own country. You want to sit around and destroy it. And when your country is overtaken by these illegals that are Spanish speaking and these immigrants from other countries, then you're going to get online somewhere and cry about it. No, you did it to yourself. You keep voting for your own demise. Meg the Stallion should have declined. They used her like a puppet, just like how they did Jay-Z and Beyonce, and Donald Trump still won the election. Haven't you noticed that T Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift hasn't endorsed Kamala Harris? Because Taylor Swift is a white woman. She hasn't endorsed her. She endorsed Joe Biden, and I think she endorsed Hillary Clinton, but I ain't see her say anything about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is not black. This woman is Indian. Her father is Indian Jamaican. Just because you're from Jamaica don't mean that you're black. It doesn't mean that you come from African descent. It doesn't mean that. And I saw some TikTok videos when they went down the bloodline of Kamala's father. Kamala's father is Hindu, Indian. She may have 25% black in her, maybe. That woman is not black. That woman has been all over the place saying that she's an Indian and you dumbass black Americans that allow these immigrants from other countries and other races of people to come to those uh, HBCUs. And just because they join your sororities and your fraternity, you, you are automatically calling these people damn black. Kamala is not no black woman and she's definitely not black American. Her father is biracial mixed up too. You go down his bloodline, he got Irish. Uh, her great-grandmother, she looks dark, but she still look like an Indian. A lot of those Indians got dark skin, brown skin. And they're trying to act like she's black, but she's not. This woman ain't even 20, this woman's about 25% black, if that. This woman ain't even black. And when this, if this woman gets into be the president all of these jamaicans gonna come out and say no she's not black she's jamaican she's the first jamaican up there she's the first jamaican in your fucking country they'll be telling you how she's indian and jamaican and your dumb ass went and voted her ass in because of your hatred for trump i'm going off of the policies i want the border closed i'm tired of the invasion I'm tired of in inflation. I want something to be done with the economy. You go to the grocery store, everything is going up. I don't know how y'all don't see it. If you compare the prices when Donald Trump was the president, you would see the difference. Gas prices was way lower than this type of shit going on. Joe Biden and Kamala ain't did nothing but that border. They ain't did nothing but economy. They promised y'all that they would get rid of student loans. I don't believe they did that. I don't believe they did it at all. They didn't do anything for black women for their dumb, their dumb ass vote. But this time, I truly don't believe uh, a lot of black men are not going to vote for Kamala. A lot of these black males, some of them are very stupid too, but a lot of them are not going to vote for her. I just don't think they're going to do it. They'd rather have Donald Trump in there before they have Kamala. And what people don't understand, Donald Trump don't have to have the majority of the black vote. He just needs the black vote to move over a little bit more. He needs more of the white male vote because that's really how Donald Trump lost the election. And also, I believe that they cheated. They rigged that election. Uh, but when the election was over, Donald Trump had lost some of that white male vote because a lot of these white men today are soft, submissive. They want to be a part of the zesty crew. 
They want to bend over, ass up. A lot of these white boys are not what they used to be. They're very feminine, weak. And they like they let people uh, of color, especially black people, control them and tell them what to do. It's like they're scared of black people or these people of color. They don't want to stand up for their own people. So they don't want to stand up for their own country. Now, they're voting against their own... They, you know, voting against what they should be voting for. In my opinion, a lot of these white men are zesty, especially a part of that Democrat Party. It's ridiculous. They're too soft. They're not like how they used to be. They don't stand up for shit like how they used to. And so a lot of them are online talking about they are for Kamala. A lot of these liberal-ass white women that don't mean black women any good are online talking about they in the Zoom talking about Kamala. We don't give a damn if you in the Zoom. We don't care what y'all do. Y'all are a laughing stock. Y'all see that our country are being invaded by millions and millions of illegal immigrants from all over. Not just South America. Not just Central America. These people are coming from all over. We probably got terrorists walking across the border. Just invading our country. Populating our country with somebody else's country of people. These people are not being vetted. We don't know if these people got diseases. We don't know what the hell going on. And y'all don't got a problem with it because y'all hate Donald Trump. Y'all want to put Donald Trump in his place. Y'all are doing everything possible to try to make sure Donald Trump don't win. You lock him up. You try to kill him. I don't know how people don't see something is going on. They don't like Donald Trump because they don't want nobody to help this country. They want this country to continue to fall because a lot of these immigrants that are coming into this country, they hate America. And they want it to be a third world country. They want to destroy it. And you got the people that have ancestors that have been in this country all their life allowing them to do it. Matter of fact, they're voting for the invasion. Black women are not that smart. They're not that smart. They don't care anything about Black women are not that smart. Black people in general are not that smart. Because you got some of these black male Negroes that are going along with the stuff with Kabbalah. But a lot of these black men are not going to vote for Kamala. She's married to a white man. Uh, they're not going to vote for her. So I do believe that you're going to see a shift in that black male vote. Now, as far as black women, I think that Trump gained a little bit more support from black women because a lot of us that are not dumb, we know that Kamala Harris is not black. We know she's just trying to cosplay a black American woman. And a lot of us don't care about that. We, we, we don't think that she would be a good president. At this point, I don't see any global leaders respecting Kamala. I believe that we're going to be in a lot of wars uh, we're gonna have a lot more inflation, uh, uh, a lot more inflation going on. Uh, we're gonna have pretty much these liberals and the LGBT community taking over everything, including women, women's sports. Um, it's just gonna get worse. It's just gonna get worser and worser and worser. And before you know it, we're gonna be uh, ran by these illegals coming from South America. They're going to be controlling every political place. Uh, they're going to be controlling all the cities. Everywhere that black people are, they're going to take over. And then black people will get online and then they'll cry about it and complain. There's no need to whine about inflation. Cry about the, the illegal immigrants coming into your city. If you're going to turn right around and, and vote for that bullshit. There's no need. If you really care about your country and you really care about the future of yourself and your family, you will not vote for Kamala. Kamala is a horrible vice president and she's going to be a horrible president. I pray to God that a lot of these men are not that woke and they get together and vote to completely against her. Because in order to win the presidency, they're going to need that male vote. They're going to need white male vote, black male vote. And I hope they know better than this. I'm a woman, but I am not for Kamala running this damn country. I am not for that at all. I can see it. It's going to be a disaster. I promise you it's going to be a disaster. 
And Kamala is like a puppet to the Democrat Party. She's not going to be really the one running this country. It's probably going to be Obama and them and no Democrat elites. They got all the money. They'll be telling her what to do. She's not going to do nothing. Just like she didn't do anything when she was the vice president of Joe Biden. She didn't go down there and take, take care of that border and close that border off. She's not going to do anything. I don't see she has nothing to offer. Nothing to offer. I heard Trump said that he's going to try to get away, get rid of the federal tax. You know, with all the taxes coming out of our check. I wish it could happen. I don't know if it's possible to do that, but that's a good idea. That would help a lot of us and put some money back in our pockets. I need to hear things like that. That's what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about that bullshit about women's rights. And women's rights are not being taken. There's nothing these men are doing. They're not taking our rights. You're crying about abortion or whatever like that. You still can have an abortion. You know, nobody wants you to have the baby because of incest or somebody sexually assaults you. If you don't want to have the baby, you don't have to have a baby. But abortion is not birth control. Okay, you lay down and you, you, you have sex unprotected. Then all of a sudden you want to do abortion. That's not what abortion is for. It's not birth control. And some of you women are using abortion as some type of birth control when you can just protect yourself and get on birth control. Use a condom and then you'd be fine. Or you can not have sex, that too. But abortion is not birth control. And women, especially black women, need to stop thinking that it is. Okay? I'm all for women's right, but I don't see nobody taking women's right. When Donald Trump was the president for four years, he didn't do anything to women like that. I think that a lot of you feel like he don't respect women. He don't respect black people. Donald Trump don't respect nobody. He talked to everybody the same damn way. He talked about white people. He talked about Latino people. He talked about black people. He talked about everybody. White men, white women. He don't give a damn. He says what he wants to say and he stands on it. You got to respect him for that. He doesn't single out nobody. He talks shit about every damn body. He don't care about your race and he don't care about your sex. Look what he says about Joe Biden. He doesn't give a damn about that. And that's why a lot of people respect Donald Trump and like him because he's not presidential. He don't sugarcoat shit. He's straightforward. What he feels, what he's thinking, that's what he's saying. And people can respect that. We don't like people lying to us and trying to run game. And that's what's going on with a lot of these politicians from the Democrat Party and the Republican Party. They're trying to run game on you. We're here about the policies. And that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Kamala ain't black. Meg the Stallion disappointed me. She looked like a fool in my opinion. She should have declined. A lot of these celebrities need to stay the hell out of this uh, political uh, election. They need to mind the damn business. Because it makes them look bad. Just stay mutual. Stay right in the middle. Stop trying to pick sides. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much all I got to say on the top. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.